Greetings everyone and welcome back to Rail Routes. Now since last episode I ended up completing the timetable for Masaryk Station. As you can see it is just solid trains now which is perfect so we don't have to deal with that station anymore. Now as promised we will be moving on to expansion this episode, the long awaited expansion. We will be expanding down here mainly these stations that sort of lie through the middle of the map and expanding linking Hollers of East down to this region as well. Now, when we expand, I'm not going to buy these platforms just yet, and I have a reason. We were, we did look at Hollers of East last episode, or it might have been the one before, and I was trying to sort out this timetable a bit, and I've made a list of all the contracts that I wanted to get in order to finish the this bit, at least, the bits that go from Podbubur to Hollers of East and to Vis. So, if I buy all the platforms for these new stations, then it's going to start giving me contracts which are more related to these these new stations. So, in order to increase the chances of us getting contracts between these stations, I'm not going to buy the platforms. At least at first, obviously, I will be buying them at some point. But I think what is better to do first is to actually start making the connections between all this stuff. So, if we go to purchasing, we're not going to... I said, not going to buy the platforms, but we can buy the auto blocks. That's all fine. So, have we got any more? Ah, do I need to buy these to go through here? That's all right. We can buy it all at the end, but we are free to lay track wherever we want. So, I guess we can start with that. So, obviously, we're going to have to integrate it into here. We're going to have to avoid messing up this too much at the same time. Now, this might be quite a long episode and I may speed it up or time lapse it in places just as there's a lot of thinking to do and a lot of designing to be done. But we can obviously start down here and I'm just going to start connecting in these because we are going to need something to go down here eventually. So we can leave that as it is. Um, Maybe like that. I don't know. We can come back to it slightly later. But this bit's fairly straightforward. Now, I should probably go through my thought process with some of this. Um, first off, these are massive, very long auto blocks here. As you can see, they are, what is this, like nine tiles long. Now, I did quickly calculate at one point that it's around 30 seconds I believe for a commuter train to go through one section of this and if we're going to have continuous trains running through here it's going to be pretty much impossible to efficiently have commuter trains run through here with intercities. I do have priority with the intercity trains as they give us more money and they're going to get if we have an intercity or commuter train sorry go through first Having it follow, having it be followed by an intercity train, the intercity train is going to get held up. Obviously, I've mentioned this before, and it still stands. So through these auto blocks, I'm going to strictly keep it down to intercity trains. This might make it a bit more difficult, but we'll have to see. Through these auto blocks, we can probably put commuter trains, and if we have a coach yard at um, this station here, we might be able to do something because this is a six platform station I want to be utilizing all the platforms wherever I can so we'll need to think of a solution for that but for the time being I'm I know for certain that I'm going to keep this these auto blocks strictly to intercity trains well that's the aim um, and then down here this bit I'm going to get onto later but we will probably have commuter trains come down here and whatnot that will be another separate expansion video because this is a lot to do. So I think we'll first start with integrating this section up here. I do want to make make use of all the space, even if it becomes a little redundant in the end. It might be worth implementing certain lines or bits of track now, whilst I have nothing here, nothing operational. And then I can always change it or just not use it in essence, uh, in the end. So we could potentially have commuter trains come through here. So I might allow some like separate commuter lines to intercities because then in this, this distance, the intercity trains might be able to overtake 
the commuter trains, so it might be worth putting some lines of both in. It just depends how much we can fit along in this space, but I do want to maybe try and remo move this tunnel here, potentially. As it's potentially a little in the way, and let's add another... Yeah, this will require some thinking as well. But let's get some rough rough ideas down. So if I make use of the whole space here, there's going to be a lot of tunnels to deal with. Um, so I need a, this line's going to go to Visasani from up here, and I might have a separate one for commuter trains as well. If we had a separate one for commuter trains, where would I add it? Probably in here, but at the moment we've got this to deal with. Right, so what we're going to do is I would like to add in this track here. Now this is obviously going to be an issue with this guy. So we're going to need to put a... Oh, and we're getting some contracts in. 14,000 for that is actually insane. Yeah, so this is something that I wanted to do throughout the episode as well. I will have to accept some of these as we go. I'll do that in a bit. We've got three there already, which is a great start. But I wanted to make a bit of a start on this and then accept those and flip between the two. So for this bit, I need to add a routing sensor down here. Ideally a bit back, we've moved the auto signal to there. Uh, If I put that there, and then I can put the root and sensor there, and that should be good. Now we're going to get a. I feel like we're going to end up with a high volume of traffic coming through these auto blocks as well, because I'm going to plan to, if I get the contracts to do so, to put some intercities through here and straight around through to Bobney. Because this auto block is fairly short, and we're getting one train every three minutes through there, so we've got a couple minutes, a good couple minutes uh, gap to utilize which is perfect and let me put that there and that there and that's all sorted uh yep yeah, so that's perfect now we can just see because we've got a train coming through now we can just see if that's working okay yep it's working as desired perfect so that means i can add this next bit of track so i wanted like i said i wanted to have a separate line for the commuter trains to run separate but I'm gonna have to figure this all out up here and make you so this is gonna be a commuter line I'm also gonna need a line to let me just put in a bunch of lines because I'm gonna need a line going from to Wilson station one going to Lyburn and so we're gonna need several lines I could I, how many can I get across Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can get ten lines across, which means we can have in each direction we could have like three intercities, and we could have two commuter lines. Now, Leiden, we're going to pretend probably use these top two platforms for trains. Um, coming from the north of the map and then these bottom platforms can be used for trains that are going straight through is my current thinking this means we're not really going to be able to have commuters come through Liban very easily so we probably don't want commuter trains going to Liban commuter trains are definitely more likely to go to Wilson station and what I can do is I can just pop that in there for now we're going to have more likely to have commuter trains go to Wilson Station and more likely go to Visasani through here. Just just in case I end up deciding to do it, it's worth putting it in now I reckon. It's not going to add... we've got the space to do it, we might as well add it now is the thought process. Um, we're going to have to sort up out here, sorry sort out up here. It's a little bit of a mess at the moment and we're going to have a lot of traffic coming through here hopefully. Now. Most of these lines are going to go straight through down here, and obviously we don't want them crossing over this very, already fairly busy straight of track. So we will end up be, we'll end up using a lot of tunnels. 
I can imagine. Um, let me just put some more lines in. Uh, what might be worth it is actually putting in red lines for the commuter trains for now. Because the commuter trains kind of go at 120. And it might just help with the thinking a bit. Uh, yes, yeah, so if I get rid of that, that's going to be one of them. The f Okay, I'll be back in a minute and I'll identify which of these lines is going to be for which which trains going where. And I'll explain it when I get back after some thinking. Okay, I've just had a little bit of a think. We're going to I reckon we're going to use these middle two lines for the commuter trains. And I will explain that choice maybe a little later when it becomes apparent where I think I've pulled it. And it's got to do with down the bottom here. Now, uh, this one... Because we can obviously use a tunnel to get between here, so let's maximise the space. This line here is going to be our trains to Lyburn, because Lyburn's fairly over here. And I want to make the, the lines as direct as possible, it just helps cut down on the time between stations. And we've already got the two lines that go to Visasani, so the next station that's furthest east is Lyburn. So we're going to choose that, and we'll make use of that. And we'll need to connect it in here somewhere. It might be worth trying to connect in this bit first. So I can't do that just yet. But we can imagine having a little bit of a diagonal track there for now. And that will go straight into Liban like so. Now, this is going to be one crazy junction. I'm going to have tunnels going everywhere, I reckon. So if that's going to be Lyburn, let's, now remember we're travelling on the left, so that's our trains that come around here to Lyburn like so. Now this one is going to have to go to the north of the map, and it's going to have to go, we want to have it be able to go to uh, Bubney and Visasani, and up north towards Hollers of East, and we've also got more contracts here. Ah, uh, Visasani to Hollers of East, we can't do... Or I don't plan to do it at the moment, at least. Oh, they're so good, though. The issue is, I've put the coach yard on this side. And we've already been using it like that, so... I'll keep it like that for now. Um, so, if I put a tunnel in here, how far... I think there is probably suitable. Yeah, we'll put it in there like that for now. And... Let me just change it so we know it's red. And then we said this next line, this next line is going to go to Wilson Station. I don't want it to go too far this way. What's, this is Wilson Station commuter trains. Unless... And that's a, sorry, I sorry I'm not talking too much. I'm really just trying to figure out the best way to do this. Then and I've got to also fit more lines going back the other way. So I need to make sure I let me move that back one actually. Like so. That looks about right. Okay, and... This is probably actually the easier bit. Down here is going to be the hard bit. If I'm being completely honest. Right, and joining it all up here is going to be another mission. I see that needs to be the same speed. Okay, we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, okay, so join this all up like so. 
Which one's the one that goes... Wilson Station is this one. What's this? This is something... Please give me more... Davies and... Pod Bubba ones. I'll be... So happy. Um, okay. All looks a little abstract at the moment. It will hopefully make a bit more sense later. Now these ones are commuter trains. And we're going to have commuter trains be above here. We'll figure out those later. Like I said, they're not the biggest priority, but I'm going to put them in now as it's not... We've got the space, and it's not much more effort, so... We're going to need another line in here. Like so. Oh, like I said, I'll have to deal with this a little later. Okay, so I was having a little think. I'm going to keep this one here as the Wilson station coming up from Wilson station to Hollis line. Uh, we'll stick it right down to there for now and then we can use this space here for a tunnel that comes from down here and into Visasani, perhaps from Wilson Station, I'm guessing. We'll have to link it all up in a bit. And uh, then we're going to need two more intercity lines uh, down here. Like so. And then we're going to have to connect these all. So this one here, we're going to have these as the commuter lines i reckon obviously we've used all this space but this one's gonna have to be in a tunnel uh no i don't want them mixing um, i will deal with all this connection up here towards the end i think that's not the major issue right now the next bit we've got to deal with is this part down here, which is going to be a nightmare. So, we could start down here. So we need... Yeah, this was what I was thinking about earlier. So these lines here are going to be majoritively intercity. And if we have commuter trains coming down from the north... We're going to want them to join in as late as possible. It reduces the amount of track they share. So if we have the commuter trains come in at these bits down here, we could just add some tunnels down the bottom here in order to sort them out. Uh, like so. So these would be our commuter trains. And then we're going to have to have some of these uh, tunnels for the intercity branches that come from up here. Now we're going to have two of each because I want to have some from Visasani come down here. And also some from up the north. So I, do I want to connect in Bobney? Hmm... If I do, then that's got to. I've got to add another tunnel. Ah, which this one here is the Wilson Station branch. So if I wanted something to go to Wilson Station, i.e., a intercity train from Bobney to Wilson Station, what we do is we could add a branch in through here. If because this is our uh, Wilson Station line, which is actually quite convenient. Now we've put it there. At least it's coming together now. Then it will go around here and it will come out the same tunnel. Hopefully. So we'll connect that into here in a minute. I need to go through this section. And we're going to have to re redo parts of this section. Because we've got to add branches in and out all over it. Now we need to figure out how we're going to do these tunnels. Now we're, if we're being honest we're going to have auto signals on these sections here. And I can't put a tunnel straight from here to here because the the sensor's going to be all the way up here. And that's going to change way too early for what we require. 
and this is going to be a very high volume track. This is an eight platform station, and this is a very big restriction having these just two auto blocks on this side. It's not so bad this side because we've got the four auto blocks, but on this side we've only got two, which really limits how much traffic we can push through here. And it's we're going to have to really cram the timetable up and put them as close as we can. So we want these changes to be pretty perfect in terms of the distance between the sensors and the signals. So we're going to have to add some intermediate sections. Let me just check the contracts. Um, any of this is sandy ones I'm not going to do. Yeah, we're going to build up quite a good collection here, which we'll have to um, do some in a bit. But I want to start trying to get some of these tunnel sections done and fill in this space here. Now we've got a fairly okay amount of space to work with. Definitely more space is always preferable. We we'll put a section in here because we're going to have the tunnel come from here to here. That's a nice tunnel. And then I'm going to want the tunnel. We want to make this short as possible. I know this one's going to be longer, but I feel like this route up here is going to be more popular. Or I'm going to be accepting more contracts with that. So we'll put that in like so. And then what we can do is we can put the root and sensor on here. And that should actually be a fairly decent distance I would like to say I'm going to put another auto signal here ah but then that's going to require another routing sensor isn't it it's okay the the intercities will move far, quite fast through here and by, by design the commuters being up right up here at front will help bring down the time so We'll sort out the... I'm not going to put any any information into these yet because I'm going to be changing this so much at the moment that it's just going to be kind of silly doing that. Um, obviously on this side we're going to need tunnels as well. We're also going to need as many, several tunnels. What I might do quickly is I might, once that train passes, I'm going to try and sort out this section just so that it's all good. Uh, let me put that in, and then let me put another auto signal there. This is not going to really be able to have an auto signal. I'm going to be able to put an auto signal there, but here is going to have to remain. Let me do that. It looks silly, but I'll make it. I'll show you why in a minute. Then I'm going to need to put and then I want to put Wilson Station via this one here and all others to that bit there and that's like that and then that to there and that should all be good hopefully. Let me just wait for the next one to come through. Perfect. So that's all integrated well. Next bit will be, I guess this bit I should do. Uh, let me just add another section of track in there. We're going to add a routing sensor to this bit here. That should also connect to that. Now, if we go into, I've got to think, will this... This bit might also have to go down to... Okay, I'm going to have to add a bunch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add Masaryk Station via there. Bobney via there. Davis via there. I need to decide whether I... How old do I get to the top via this bit? I'm guessing what I should do is just put another tunnel down here. I reckon this is going to be a little bit of a dead zone in terms of track, so we're going to what I reckon we'll do. So if I go uh, Hollows of East via there and Podbubba via there, then and then others will have to go via here. I haven't added that yet because obviously I'm still going to change this, but for the purposes of keeping our core section here running as it is, yeah, that should be good. Next bit on these added in here, but I think I'll do that in a bit. We've 
integrated that bit quite nicely. What I'll do actually is maybe I should do some of these contracts so we can get some new ones coming through. Um, so yeah, let me just work out where I left off with this and I'll be back in a bit. Right, so I was just looking through how many of each contract we've got and if you recall in previous episodes I said I wanted five of each and we've got six of this type. So we're going to have to get rid of them or rid of one of them. Uh, we've got two 16,000 ones so I can just get rid of one of those really quickly. Just like so. That helps create the balance. Then we were trying to create a a timetable. How did we do it? Right, I need to... Yep. Okay, so that's the first step. And then... I need to ver figure out what order we were doing these in. We were doing them in... Devise. Pod blah blah. Devise. Pod blah blah. And I just removed one, so let me just... Wait, so yeah. Devise. Pod blah blah. Devise. Pod blah blah. Devise. Pod blah blah. I need a Devise to Hollis of East soon. Okay, we're going to have to wait for a bit of a slot in the timetable to do this. Um, and then I need a Devise. Uh, wait, do I? So, Podpapa, Devise, Coachyard. Podpapa, Coachyard. Then I need a regular Devise. Regular pod bar. -bar. That needs to be moved away. I need another Devise coach yard. If we've got any, that is. Which we probably don't, so I'll need to accept some in a minute. I'll be back when um, we've got to a point where I can accept some more. Okay, so we're nearly at a time where we should probably accept it. I should probably accept it around now. I'm wanting our platform one. And it should hopefully work its way there, maybe apart from this bit up here. Which I can do for it. There we go. It might hold up the next train just a little bit or no. Good. Okay, we can make that faster, definitely. How does that look on the timetable? This one here. So that's that one done. Then what we did we have? We had a pod bar, -bar so then we've got Devise. Pod bar, -bar. we need another Devise one very soon. Yeah, around now. 16,000. Oh, yes. We want a pod, but we want a device. Here we go. And like so. And that should all be good. Now we've got an imbalance, which we'll fix very shortly. I need to go through the timetable uh, up here. Just adjust this because I know this can be done. Or well, we've had it down to be two minutes with other bits, and that should all be corrected. So then I'll just quickly. We need to have a look and see what more we need. Because we're at imbalance, so I do want to accept some more. I'll be back shortly. So I've just moved it forward and I found the one here that we, the second one that we just did. So if I just adjust that and we can merge it into our timetable a little better. There we go. So we've completed it all the way up to here. So we need another pod bubble one soon. What I'll do is I'll, I might as well just accept some more kind of randomly. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so we need another pod bubble one. Here's one. Here's another one. Might as well go with this one. And we need that to go up to here. Platform should be free. Let me just accept another one straight away, I reckon. No harm in doing so. Um, it just saves me a bit of time altogether. Sorry this has turned into a bit of a contracts episode now. But... I did need to get this done before I start buying all the stations because it just is easier to get it done now. I will probably cut out a lot of this. Um, just adjusting this and getting this all sorted and then we'll get back to the 
Uh, we'll get back to the expansion as soon as possible. I might even speed this up a bit and just time lapse it for you guys. Okay, so I've done all the contracts that I can. I've adjusted it. I've synced up the timetables. So we're making the most of these. So I've got them as close as we can on here, whilst keeping them as close as we can on there. I couldn't get these, like I'd like to put these one closer, but it would maybe potentially mess up here. So we're gonna leave it like that for now. If any adjustments can be made in the future, I will be sure to do so. Um, it might be worth getting back to some expansion now. We have got an imbalance on here, which isn't great. But I'm hoping we will be able to sort that out. So we've got 7 out of 10 contracts. Uh, yeah, 7 out of 10 outbounds. Yes, yeah, so we're only an imbalance of 1. That's okay. We can live with that for now. So what we'll do, we'll get back to... Our expansion down here. I've got to try and remind myself of what we were doing. Um, so this was going to be the Wilson Station one, wasn't it? Yep. This one's going to be another intercity line, which is coming from elsewhere. So maybe Visasani or Bubni. Oh no, Bubni has been sorted out here. So this is going to have to be for Visasani. So how are we going to do this? Maybe just a straight line, to be completely honest might be the best way to do it. But then if I had a straight line here, let's say, so just imagine that bit's there. Will this be able to get around here? It will be able to. But then I do need to have another line come in from here, from up the top, so I can't actually put it here. It will have to be down here. Because I need to have another line That comes... Oh, this is tough. I know what we're going to do. We're going to remove this. I know I just put it down. If I put it here instead... Like so. I'm just. I'm not going to upgrade the tunnels just yet because that might have to move it again. But then... What if I did that? And we have a tunnel that connects in from up here. Uh, oh, this isn't... This isn't even the Wilson Station one, this is... This one here is meant to be the Wilson Station one. And this one here is meant to be the Lyburn one. 
So this middle one's Liburn one, yes, that is correct. So if I upgrade all that, put down the root and sensor once again, um, and others to this auto block, I guess. What off, uh, what contract did we get? Can't do that one. So that's good, but then that requires that I'm going to have to put a bit of track in here. Uh, this should... It might just have a bit of an ups... Oh gosh, I've got to redo all of these. Didn't think this through. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a very small bit of track. I think that's all of them. So that's that bit added. But will this... That's a bit of an inefficient tunnel. Uh, how do I want to do this? Right. Yeah, sorry it's a lot of cuts in this video. I'll, I'll be back shortly. I need to have a little think of this. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to really explain the full process as such. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a time lapse instead of me just working on this section. And you can see the changes and modifications I make based on how I get on. In the time lapse there might also be some me also accepting some contracts. I'll see if we get any. But yeah, no, hopefully you all enjoy this time lapse.
Okay, I'm going to leave it there for today, as this is probably a very long episode at this point. I haven't, don't think I've quite finished going through every single route and doing all the sensors and whatnot. There are some big sensors like this one, which I have not done yet. I'm going to have to have a look into advanced uh, routes and sensors, which allows us to split up commuter trains and intercity trains going to the same destination, but they can go via two different routes. I'll need to look into that and work out how to use them, as I haven't actually used them yet before. Um, but with that all being said, I next episode I will finish this section. I was really hoping to go further, but obviously this is probably the worst part of the map in terms of organization and understanding where everything needs to go um, but at the start of next episodes we'll do some of these bigger sensors we'll try and get the advanced ones i'll try and understand how they work might be a bit of trial and error there now in between episodes what i'll do is i'll accept some more of these contracts just finish off the contracts that we're missing from here we're missing two i think coming into hollows of east and i'm missing i think we're missing like three or so from coming out of the coach yard what i'll do is i'll finish them in between episodes and then next episode we will like i said we'll continue with this hopefully we'll go further and we'll hopefully with me finishing this we can buy the platform so we can start accepting contracts going through here and test it all out and see how it all goes so yeah if you have enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next one